to Angels Light to Row. Thank you, thank you, thank you for stopping by for your weekly message for May 16th through May the 22nd. 22nd. And yes, we are starting with a full moon with an eclipse. Very powerful week. All right, what is going on? Are you ready to leave some things behind this week that you are very emotional about? Could just be your emotions, okay? All right, angels, high vibration for lovely, lovely Capricorn for a very exciting week that is coming up for all of us. Don't take it personal. Don't do it. Okay. All right. Angels, high vibrations for Capricorn. And I'm going to, just to let you know, I am time stamping it, time stamping the message so that you don't have to sit here mm -hmm, through, <laughs> through all of the shuffling. There we go. Moving on to the next deck. Angels, Looking for some deep, insightful messages this week for lovely, hard-working, hard-working Capricorn. Moving on to my mama's deck as usual. What is a reading without my mama's deck here? <laughs> Thank you, angels. Ah, there we go, angels. Looking for some joy for hard-working Capricorn. Adding one from the Blessings deck. Angels, thank you and thank you for lovely. Remember what goes on the floor stays on the floor. Thank you, thank you. And of course, we are now finally topping it off with the regular deck. All right, let's tidy up and get right into your message for this powerful week. All right, Capricorn, major theme for the week is the Emperor. Oh boy, oh boy. With the crown chakra, yes, and harmony and resolution, Jack of Diamonds, blessing without borders, and the Jack of Hearts. So I am picking up here, you are being if it's not you, it's someone, okay, in your world. Someone is being very strong, very opinionated, very forceful. It may even be you. Crown chakra, if you are, if this is you, you know this is exactly where you need to be and how you need to attack this situation. I feel like owning your power in this situation is actually what is bringing you a lot of harmony and resolution. The Jack of Dimes is saying, don't make it all work and no play. Yes, you need to do what you need to do. Yes, you need to stand in your power and you need to say what you mean and do what you say you're going to do. But at the same time with the Jack of Diamonds, don't make it all work, okay? All right, don't make it so laborious there. With the blessings without borders, if you add a little fun in this, yes, I know it's a sacrifice. I know, I know it's a sacrifice. Add a little fun, mix a little fun in this, and I feel like things will be better than you could imagine. Yes, 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 I'm gonna say it again. Stand in your power, do what you say you're going to do. Own your truth but mix in a little bit of fun, okay? All right, now, let's, um, because you don't, we don't want to push people away, all right? All right, now, let's look into the recent past. We have the judgment card reversed with the darkest fears, yes, 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 and transformation, the six of hearts. We have the crystal clear blessing and the two of hearts. So what I'm picking up here with the judgment card reversed, I feel like there there is a bit of in the recent past something was not fair okay something you felt was not fair and boy that was something that you knew you felt like it was going to happen you knew it wasn't fair <sighs> yeah yeah that's what I feel and, but I feel like it was helping you even though it wasn't fair it was helping you grow. It was helping you grow into someone that is more at peace with yourself. And, and you knew crystal clear that that was the purpose in all of your love relationships. This could have been with a romantic partner, a friend, or a someone that is very close, family member. I feel like whoever it was 
that whatever this was that was done unto you, unto you, you kind of knew it was coming, you knew it wasn't fair, but at the same time, you got the opportunity to grow through that situation and become more uh, a peaceful, more at peace about it. Almost like, it, now, um, well, you know what? I didn't like that it happened, but it did happen. Now I'm kind of okay. All right. Okay. All right. Now let's take a peek in the middle of the week. We have the three of pentacles reversed with the lead card. Yes. And strength and guidance. Two of clubs the blessing of questioning and the ten of spades so in the middle of the week it feels like three of pentacles reversed it feels like there is a contract that is not going the way that you need it to go or it's not moving as quickly as you would like it to but you have to lead the way you have to get out and push yes you do almost like push the car yes the strength and guidance it is up to you to lead this situation it's up to you to talk to whomever you need to talk to in this situation the blessing here the blessing the blessing of questioning i feel like with the ten of spades is really going to bring a lot of success in this now it feels like something is not working for you in the middle of the week something isn't turning over as quickly as you would like it to so don't be afraid to take the lead. Don't be afraid to pick up the phone. Don't be afraid to put in the work that needs to be. Don't be afraid to say, hey, look, don't worry, I got this, right? Because I, I, I hear you say, don't worry, I, I got this. The more you say, don't worry, I got this, and you do it, right? That's where the success um, um, uh, it is. Now, in the, the um, the blessing of the questioning make sure that everything that you do yes you're going to take the lead yes you're going to do things to move things forward but make sure that when you do you have everything that you need you're asked all the questions that you need to ask like don't just do it all you it's almost like you need to make sure that you read the fine print before you move forward okay all right now let's take a peek at the end of the week here i feel like that goes there there we go all right Cap Capricorn, the end of the week, we have the Ace of Pentacles reversed with the dedicated effort, yes, 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 and blessings and abundance, four of hearts, a blessed new beginning, and the six of diamonds. So the end of the week, the Ace of Pentacles, it is reversed. You're waiting for a new beginning to start. Yes, you are. And while you're waiting, you're dedicated to this, okay? So although it's it's going to be down the road that you get what you want, you're still dedicated on this journey. Their blessings here is abundance, and I feel like I feel like you have the blessings of abundance in your world. Also, emotionally speaking, family, things of that nature are working out in your favor. There will be a blessed new beginning coming, coming, okay? Not right now, on its way. This will be six of diamonds. This will be long lasting, all right? Now, when we take a peek at your bonus here, we have the six of cups reversed with the hermit card. Mm -hmm. The detach is your beat bonus. Intuition and downloads. Four of diamonds. A blessing of acceptance and the king of clubs. So your bonus here is telling me that there is someone mm, that's coming into your world, but it's leaving just as quickly. Um, the hermit card. I feel like I feel like when they do leave, it feels like you're gonna feel a little bit alone and detached from the situation. But your intuition. I feel like you need this time because. Your angels, your guides are going to be downloading some information. Almost like you need this time to receive all the messages that your angels have to give you about your security in life. Your blessing of acceptance, whoever this is coming and going out of your life, know that it's for your highest good. You need some time alone. Because the King of Clubs is telling me that whatever it is that you're that's going to be downloaded into you, whatever whatever messages that will be relayed to you. Now, sometimes it's not a download. Sometimes it's a, a constant a 
number that you see. Maybe you see the same number on a license plate or you look up and there's a sign that has the same numbers. Take a peek at that, okay? Because that's what's going, cool. that are your, that could be your individual downloads. And that is actually gonna put you in a position of leadership. So if you see, if you get the number over and over and over again, the same number or the same name or the same color, be sure to research it because it's definitely putting you in a lot of power. This is a powerful time for you. You need this little bit. I feel like it's just a little bit of time alone to get your life together, get things in order, if you will. So this is not necessarily a week that is, um, it's a week to, to it's a week to take your power back. It's a week to lead. It's a, Even if you don't want to be in a leadership position, something is going to force you because it's taking too long and you need, I hear you saying, I need to get this done. And this needs to get, this needs to get done, okay? But I feel like, I feel like whatever this is that you're working on, it's for the near future. It's, it's not right now, it's for the near future. But whatever it is it's definitely going to last a very long time so if you have some time alone this week take that as a key take that as a message that you need that time so that you can get your life in order okay so I, I get it, it to get your life in order because it's almost like you know when you're about to take a trip when you're about to take a trip you have to pack you have to, you know, what hotel are you staying in? What's the car uh, mileage and things of that nature? Get your oil change and things of that nature. That's kind of why you need to spend that time alone. Maybe not that, but you know what I'm talking about. Okay, so I'm going to leave that there. I send you joy, namaste, and much, much love sent your way.